to drown in self-praise and turn away from the truth. To not learn from history, what sort of a nation building are they dreaming? Self-praise, they could get carried away what, by what the temple priest says about your family, about your religion. Without you doing work, and when they say a particular thing, please try to understand whether those people who said the thing at work have proved that they can rule like a thousand man warrior. Hence, we have so many Gurujis, so many Swamijis who are very, very weak. And then they say something, blah, blah, blah. They did not contribute to the nation building. It was a destructive tendency. And that's why our country went into a deep poverty, into a deep destructive situation for not 600 years by the Muslim invasion or by 200 years by the British, yes, around 1000 years. And after we got our independence also, we are after the self-praise. Look at the people on the streets. Women keep telling this men, what happened to the men? They come back from the workplace. They come back from the workplace to rush up to their house remove the dress and then run out. Where are they running? Is this nation building? Is this the proof of their house? Don't you know that you have to roll like a thousand men warrior in the house? Don't you know that was the way that you need to polish? You have not polished. Who created this situation in the men? Men runs leave the house and goes out it seems to a circle or a junction and then they talk about politics what kind of politics did they learn it from Ramana Maharshi looking so weak and talking truth without working very hard whether this party is right or they, that party is wrong what went wrong? What went wrong with you people? And then these women were telling, then we know the men will come back. When they come back, when they are hungry, they'll come back. They eat, they then they sleep. Not a single discussion about the house. That much time what they spend outside, if they spend in the house, they could have constructed one more extra room. They could have thought of rainwater harvesting. They could have thought of the solar and wind energy. They could have thought about the family and the joint family and the family tree. When you went on talking big things and you kept on being more and more pujas, we ourselves became very weak. Our, our system has become very weak. Automatically foreign matter enters. When the body is very weak, foreign matter enters. When Corona came, they said, you need resistance power and the body is weak, it will attack you. What weak, not that the muscle outside, but internal cleansing also. The mind and the heart too. A family sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together. Om Prakash Valmiki, born on 30 June 1950, Musa Nagar. Died on 17th November 2013 in Dehradun in India. Was an Indian writer and poet, well known for his autobiography, Juthan. Considered a milestone in Dalit literature. He was born in the village of Barla in the Musafarnagar district of Uttar Pradesh. After retirement from government ordnance factory, he lived in Dehradun where he died of complications arising out of stomach cancer on 17th November 2013. Om Prakash Valmiki said the Savarnas, the Savarnas constructed all sorts of mythology. Savarnas means the Brahman Kshatriya Vaishyas. Their upper caste of jewelry, of ideas, just creating dreamy thoughts, but not getting involved. They, what was the outcome? Brahmanas, Brahmins to think and the Kshatriya for to create a security system, created a kind of 
the kingdom, the king, the vices to uh, grow the vegetables and the fruits and the food and sell it up and the sudras to make sure that the land is properly done, cleansed, updated. Like the priests in the temple, they were the real gods. And that shows you order went wrong. Or it was uh, equally, you have to be gone. That equality was went wrong. And they kept on churning out stories just to, uh, just to use. Use is good, but if you use, if you misuse. The sourness constructed all sorts of mythologies. Listen to these mythologies. Or she will dream of ideas. What was the outcome? The outcome, you have a look at the outcome, what Om Prakash Varmiki is telling. A defeated social order in the clutches of hopelessness, poverty, illiteracy, narrow-mindedness, religious inertia, and priestocracy, social order, embroiled in ritualism, which fragmented and was repeatedly defeated by the Greeks, embroiled in ritualism. The embroidered rituals of which fragmented was repeatedly defeated by the Greeks, Shakas, Huns, Afghans, Mughals, French and the English. This is happening now. That happened long back. You are getting carried away by the religious stupid talks, by the politicians stupid talks. Stop falling. Stop going to listen to the mass hypnotism of the gurus. Hundreds and thousands of people staying in Russia. How could you allow that? Those people needed to be working in the houses. When they come and ask you for help, you should give them advice and send them. Government should interfere. How could the hundreds and thousands of people go for a mass political rally? No, no, no. Electronic media is there. If at all they wanted to say something, we can discuss that. Let not people come out on the streets. A social order employed in ritualism which fragmented and was repeatedly defeated by the Greeks, Shakas, Huns, Afghans, Mughals, French and the English. And after years passed, can you know, we were still being defeated. We are not been able to prove what is the thing we have to prove. Every Guru in Swamiji, every political leader, every head of the family, there is no head, only bow in the family. They have created bombs everywhere. They have to win a war on rainwater harvesting. When one year coming to rainwater, you can use it for three years. You are creating a port in my land by the mass hypnotism, taking the people into big political um, parties, meetings, and into the ashram. Stop it. Create a law. We have to win a war on rainwater harvesting on the waterfront. We have to win the war on making sure that all nook and corner of our country has got solar that we do not have to beg when such beautiful sunlight is there. That is our valor and our greatness. Already we have been defeated by Greek, Shaka, Hans, Afghan, Mughal, French and the English. Kept, yet in the name of the valor and the greatness, our has kept feeding the weak and the helpless. Can you believe now also we have been beaten in the streets? No value for anywhere, even professors, doctors have been beaten either by the, you call it by the police department or the political department or by the um, uh, civil servants kept burning homes, kept insulting women and raping them to drown in self-praise and turn away from the truth to not learn from history what sort of nation building are they dreaming of, what sort of nation building Come on, come on, go back to your house, love your family, understand what is love, love can move mountains, We through there we can build up the first family. And from there we know the joint family, when you know the joint family, to love the joint family, to love our relatives, then we have the family tree. Then there is no poverty because the family tree has already created rainwater harvesting and the solar and the wind energy and then the medicinal plant, let thy food be thy medicine. Where there is poverty, when each pyramid is working. King from the last 800 to 1000 years. If it has not done it, let us start now. Otherwise, we are lost. We will be only in the museums of the rich, in the zoos, or in the as in the archaeological department. All the buildings are converted for the archaeological department. Tell you histories and stories.